Hey everyone, in this tutorial, we're going to see how to build cross-platform desktop applications using Electron, but we're going to be using the Vue JavaScript framework. Um, so building desktop applications with Electron, a framework isn't required, um, but in, in 2019, which is the current year, uh, frameworks framework-based development is kind of everything. Um, and there are some gotchas when it comes to using Vue with Electron, uh, which we're going to see in this particular tutorial. So that way it's easy and you, you don't have to bang your head against the, the desk for too long. Um, so I do already have the Vue CLI installed on my computer. That is a prerequisite. Um, so we're going to create a, a new project on our desktop using that Vue CLI. We're going to say Vue uh, create. We're going to say Electron project or whatever you want to name your project. I'm going to go ahead and use the defaults. All right, with the project created, we can go ahead and navigate into it. Um, we can say npm run serve, and it should serve it uh, for development purposes. And we'll go ahead and test it in our web browser. So I go to my web browser, I'll say localhost 40, actually, what is the host, 8080, I think. Yeah. Um, so here it is. I think I'm, I'm pretty zoomed in, so I'll fix the zoom uh, actual size. Um, so this is the web application out of the box. Um, now, a lot of tutorials online, um, when it comes to Vue or Angular, any of these, when using with Electron, they'll basically say, you know what, you need to serve it um, in order to use it in Electron. Uh, or they'll, they'll kind of do some hand-waving over the fact that, hey, I don't, I don't really want to serve my Vue application to get it working with Electron. Um, I want it to be bundled in and I want it to be standalone. Um, so that's what we want to accomplish. We don't want to use uh, npm run serve or anything else when it comes to using this view application within Electron. We want it to be packaged. Um, so I'll go back to my terminal now. Um, what we want to do is we want to get um, Electron actually installed. So I can say npm install Electron. I'm going to save it as a development dependency. So it is it is installed in our project. Um, I do want to create a electron configuration file at the root of my project. So I'm going to say touch electron.js. Doesn't really matter what you call it, uh, but it is there. And I want to open up my project in my editor. So I'm using Atom by GitHub. You can use Visual Studio Code. You can use whatever is cool and popular as of yeah, as of now. Um, so I have my project open um, with Electron, with our Electron.js file available to us. Uh, we do need to make a change. Uh, we need to go to our package.json file, and we need to specify uh, that Electron.js file as our main entry point because it's not going to be in this in this file by default. Um, so somewhere within this package.json uh, file, go ahead and include main and include Electron.js. Um, so that way. Uh, during our build step, it actually references this configuration file, which is currently empty as of now. Um, now, good news for us, um, we can actually copy and paste a lot of code from the getting started guide for Electron, um, because we're not going to be doing anything too fancy for this particular tutorial. It's more of just how do you get Vue working with Electron, which is um, could be a challenge in itself. So inside of the quick start documentation uh, for Electron, there is a section when it comes to um, a sample kind of electron.js file. It's in here. It has all of this code, all of these activate functions, things like that. Let's just go ahead and copy it all. And I'm going to, I guess I could choose this instead. Uh, I'm going to go back into my electron file and I'm going to paste it all in. Um, some differences though. Uh, so again, we're not going to, we're not going to be serving this view file, this view project, um, to get, to get it working with electron. Uh, we're going to build our project, and then we're going to bundle it with Electron. Um, so the window.load file, so the file that it needs to load when it starts, it's going to be found in the distribution directory. So it's going to be distribution slash index.html, uh, which we technically don't have as of yet. But if I wanted to, I could say npm run build, and you'll see that it's actually there. It's not, it's not bundling for Electron right now. Um, I'm just showing you that it's going to create a distribution directory and that index.html file is what we're after. Um, so that's where we stand as of now. Um, so we need to continue uh, to make some changes. 
Um, so for one, let's go ahead and add a script to our package.json file. I know that we were just in there. We kind of just added this main on line three. Let's add an actual script to the list to make it a little easier for us. Uh, we're going to say electron is going to be how we initialize it. We're going to say view CLI service build. Um, so essentially the same step as this build. And I, I'm, not, I'm not a pro when it comes to these package.json files. You might just be able to call build. Not sure. Um, but we're going to just kind of replicate it. But we're also going to say electron um, dot. So we're going to say uh, use the working path, um, which will contain our electron.js file. So let's go ahead and, and try it. We're going to see what happens. So I'm going to go to my terminal. I'm going to say npm run electron, which is the script we just created. It opens up. Nothing displays on the screen. Uh, we can look at our logs. We get a bunch of nasty errors about failing to load resources. So this is one of the big problems that I had, and I'm assuming a lot of other people who create tutorials have, uh, because that's why they're doing the serve method. Um, but we want to get rid of those errors so that way it actually shows stuff on the screen. Um, some of these errors are related to Webpack, um, and we need to uh, resolve this. Um, so let's let's go ahead and close this out. Let's go back into our code. Uh, well, actually, our terminal. We need to create another file. Uh, we need to create a config file, uh, which is, is actually kind of like a super file for um, for Webpack. So we're going to say touch. We're going to say view.config.js. This is at the root of our project. I'm going to open that file, and I'm going to add some configuration. So I'm going to say module.exports equals and I'm going to say base URL. So the base URL is actually not right. Um, and, and I can actually, uh, I can run it. I didn't save it yet. So let me go back into this, this uh, run electron, show you where I came up with this information. So if I look in our code, if I look at the, the sources, um, let's see if I can get to it from here. See if I can pop this out. All right. Um, so what we have here, um, if I go to elements, you can see that it has uh, a leading path here. Um, there kind of is no leading path, I think, in uh, in Electron. So this is this is throwing it off. Um, so we're basically we're basically changing the path. We want to use uh, a relative path. So let's, let's go ahead and make some changes. And you'll see that the path changes as we go. So we're going to add a base URL. Uh, we're going to say process.env.node.env equals. So if this is production, uh, then we're going to use uh, this relative path uh, as mentioned with a, a dot symbol. Um, otherwise, we're just going to use a slash uh, because when we're serving it, uh, we're just going to use a slash. When we build it, we want to use this. Um, so I saved it. Let's go ahead and, and run it again and see where we end up. Um, so it should should make use of our view config this time. Um, it actually looks the same, so it, it doesn't look like anything changed. Let's see what we got. Oh, it doesn't like my my semicolon there. So let's try it one more time. Let's uh, let's change it. So it didn't actually build correctly. So I'm going to say run electron. Didn't error this time, and it worked. So you see it on the screen here. This is an Electron application. This is not something that is being served on a, a local host or, or with a port or anything like that. And if I look at the script here, it actually doesn't have a, a leading slash. So it fixed it. Um, so just like that, you saw how to create an Electron desktop application. This works on Linux, Mac, and Windows. So if you were to publish it, it would work on all the platforms. Um, and you can create this application with Vue. So you don't have to use vanilla JavaScript. You, you don't have to use jQuery. You can use actually the Vue JavaScript framework. So it makes it easy. Again, uh, the only thing I really changed uh, was I added this main uh, for our configuration. The configuration I took pretty much directly from the getting started guide. I just changed the path to our index file. Uh, and then I changed how our paths were set up inside of the base URL.
Um, so not too much to it. 